Hi everybody, it's Laura Dern, and I guess I'm sort of inviting you into my bathroom. This is so intimate. So I'm gonna walk you through how I'm learning to figure out how to take care of myself. Um, mostly by learning about and choosing brands that care about our health and well-being and also our beauty. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna do a mask because I love this mask by Eminence, um, which is this probiotic mask and it leaves the skin feeling so good. Um, I think the last time I watched a woman do this was on I Love Lucy. Uh, and anything Lucille Ball does, I'm comfortable doing too. I'm just gonna let you know she is a goddess. Isn't it interesting too that in the 40s and 50s a woman had natural skin care and or that's what it looked like maybe it was you know I don't know petroleum based foundation and um, and just a great lip and my grandma loved to take care of herself like that. She loved clean healthy products she would make products out of fresh oils and essential oils, and then she just clean her skin and put on a beautiful lip. And I loved that. Okay, now I'm gonna let this sit. And I literally, it feels like it's cleaning my skin right now. And it's probiotic. I mean, we're eating it. Why shouldn't we also put it on our skin? Now I'm gonna wash this off after a few minutes. They are the most extraordinary brand. They care about the planet, which is why we have thank you glass bottles. And um, their products are so pure and so clean. They've done so much due diligence to make sure that it's not only healthy for the planet, but it's healthy for us and makes us feel good. And more importantly, it works better than anything I found. So here is my mist when I'm right before I do my makeup. I spray. Also, even the mist is good. You know how sometimes when <laughs> some products, the mist sprayer, it like shoots you in the eye and it's really awkward. I, I finally realized what was truly healthy and safe. So now that I'm making my daughter use all of them and when it moves you as a mom and you know it's better for the planet, and that's really cool. And their other product that I am obsessed with, which is how I found out about them, is True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil. Guys, this is magic. It's all I'm gonna say. We were starting our show Big Little Lies and my makeup artist used this on me and it literally has become my foundation. So I use a few drops of the oil and I'll show you my options the way I do it. I take a few drops into the palm of my hand. I rub my palms together and I just lightly press all over my face. And honestly, that is my foundation. And if I'm working, I then and sometimes I'll even mix a few drops of the oil into it. I use and have used for 20 years Face Place Collagen Moisturizer. And I take a little bit of the moisturizer. I rub that into my palms. And under makeup, it just helps um, keep the skin really hydrated, really glowy, and helps the makeup kind of float over it instead of kind of going into the pores. I mean, it's better for your skin and it helps the makeup last longer and look more beautiful. Uh, I mean, one of the things I've learned, I mean, especially on film and working on location in different climates with extreme humidity in the summer, or we just made Little Women in Massachusetts throughout the winter and we all know how the skin is so deeply affected when it's freezing and dehydrated and um, how drying it is. So using the oil as a base and frankly as your foundation is just, it makes for more beautiful skin and it really helps nourish the skin and you can even rub it into the lips. And then I found IT Cosmetics, um, which uh, I really like as a concealer. And I just put a little concealer on my back of my hand and I go in and you know, just cover up 
as my grandmother would say, a multitude of sins. I kind of, I really keep it simple. My grandma it was all about good skin care and a lip and a little mascara and that was, that was it. Um, I love color and I'm pale so I, I think since I was a teenager, it just made me feel happier and healthier to have a little color on my cheeks. Use an eyelash curler. So this, guys, is terrifying. I don't know about you, but you know, you gotta look down and get it in there and then... But I also wear glasses sometimes, so curling one's lashes when you can't see is also a little bit terrifying. This is Chanel, really nice. Also old school voluminous mascara I love um, and you go in and you just do a little bit of you I'm talking to you I me this is what I do you probably have a million ideas that work so great for you you don't have to do any of this but if you want a few tips I did consider how amazing it is that for the last thank God particularly decade we and our teenagers literally will go to beauty counters and say, do you test on animals? I don't want to use the product if you test on animals, but we've never asked, is it safe for us? I think that also should be considered. So I love that there are companies with great integrity that, that are considering our health and well-being. I love a cream blush. I feel like it's more natural. I like putting it on, you know, with my fingertips. I don't like the trouble of having to have tons of brushes and sponges at the ready. Um, and it's really just about, you know, giving oneself a little bit of color. And sometimes I'll even use it a little bit on the eye. If I weren't anemic, maybe I wouldn't need blush. Um, but it does help. You know, this is a very natural me. The cool thing is as an actress, you get to play all kinds of radical characters and period films and um, many times I've been just a bit of a mess of a character so it's about stripping down um, but I've also had glamorous people or women who would never leave the house without being truly done in an elegant way like Renata. When I was 12, I had my 13th birthday on this punk rock movie called Ladies and Gentlemen the Fabulous Stains and I arrived never having worn makeup with like Alice in Wonderland hair down my back and it got crazy. All I know is I left with my hair chopped off, jet black, white stripe down the middle and amazing, the most amazing eyeshadow you've ever seen. I am in love with this Marc Jacobs lip liner. I can't even tell you guys. I, I just feel like I eat lipstick all day long, which may mean I'm over talking, but I do love it and it works so well because it lasts. See, I told you, you get mascara on yourself. They haven't figured out a way to have a pair of eyeglasses you can wear while you're doing your eye makeup. Just for you entrepreneurs out there, get on it. Um, okay, so you finish, I finish my Marc Jacobs pencil and the colors are beautiful because there's so many tones that are close to lip tones so it feels natural. And then so many great lip balms. I've used Dr. Hauschka for a long time with lip balm. This is Burt's Bees. And you just, you know, throw on a little cause you can keep it with you. And that's it guys. I just, you know, I take my little old school clip out and I shake my hair out. And um, I've learned to just let my hair be cause I'm, of a natural wave and just comfortable with it being being uh, its own texture and um, less iron and all the other things that can be done to it when you're working. I'm also in the best pair of pajamas right now, <laughs> which you can't see, and I just want to live in. But I will take the pajamas on and put on jeans and a t-shirt and Maybe some Birkenstocks. Maybe I'll just do that today. Or sneakers. I'm a sneaker fiend. And that's it. I'm so happy to hang out with you guys and talk about things I love that um, make me feel healthy and good and try to keep it simple. So, see you.
muchísimo.